Welcome to the Wolfson Gym induction. Uh, now, to get to this point, you should have probably completed your par queue, um, be fit and healthy, and be ready to use the facility in a nice, safe manner. And, of course, be eager to get on with your workout. Um, so all you need to do now, or we're going to ask you to do, is just to concentrate on this short video, and then you'll be ready to go. So let's get started. To get into the gym, which is right behind me here, um, use your fob or your bod car to gain entry through the door. Okay, any problems getting in at all, just need to contact the lodge, and they'll hopefully be able to help you out. Before you walk through the door, we ask you to sanitise your hands, and as you walk into the gym, take care that no one's actually working out behind the door. Now, on the right-hand side as you come in, there is a phone. Now, obviously, we hope that you won't ever have to use this, but this phone connects directly to the lodge in case of an emergency. Um, so please don't use it for anything else, but um, that will get you straight to the lodge if you need to speak to them, okay? Over on the other side of the door here, there's a bucket, for want of a better word, of uh, battle ropes, and boxing gloves, but for communal use. And a little bit further around to the right, there's some other gym equipment, some gym aids, lifting belts, and some attachments for the cables. Before you get started on your first workout, what we suggest you do is familiarise yourself with the gym layout. So the first section over here contains various machines, plate loaded and weights stacked. Now to help you identify these machines for your session, we've numbered them from one to nine, and there's a list of the numbers and uh, corresponding machine names on the wall, just like entrance door. Okay. The second section, which takes up pretty much the middle of the gym, contains um, some benches, the squat and power rack, and dumbbell rack as well. And the dumbbells go from 1.25 kilograms up to 40 kilograms, so there should be plenty of weight there for all of your training goals and needs. And then if we go through to the cardio section, there are a number of treadmills, a recumbent and upright bike, a rowing odometer, and some, um, some cross trainers. Now on to the important rules that we ask you to follow, and this will be the whole point of you watching this video right now, actually. Um, so please uphold these. Um, to help us keep walks and gym a safe and enjoyable facility for everyone. Um, in no particular order, please tidy your weights and equipment away after use. No one likes coming into a gym that's um, messy and you have to pick things up off the floor. Please share equipment and be fair to others using the gym with you. Um, share it around with everyone so everyone gets an equal opportunity as the other person. Please wipe down your equipment after use. Um, please do not drop your weights. That's quite important because we don't want you to break anything. And you should, of course, be able to keep any of the weights you're using under control at all times. Um, and please reduce the weight that is too heavy, of course. Please be aware of the Wolfson community that, that around us here. So there are people living, studying, working. So especially after 10 p.m., keep noise, loud music down to a minimum if you can. And please use the equipment in a safe and controlled manner. Okay? We all want to push through our training goals, of course, but we just ask that you do it in a sensible way. Uh, but most importantly of all, obviously, please enjoy your session and enjoy using this great little facility, which I'm sure you'll do. Um, now, you notice that I haven't mentioned yet anything about actual training technique, uh, principles, best practices, and that's because you all have your own individual levels of experience, ability, goals, and what we recommend is that you at least find these, set these yourself before you begin your fitness journey in Wolfson Gym. Okay, now for the additional measures that we have in place during this current COVID-19 pandemic. Um, we have them in place to keep you safe in this difficult time, so we appreciate that your understanding and your patience, and we hope that you can still enjoy the facility whilst we endeavour to keep it as COVID secure as we can. Um, so, we are at the moment operating a booking system um, that must be used if you want to enter the gym. So please book your one hour slot at the lodge, and just be aware there is a two person maximum limit per slot. Okay? Uh, please sanitize your hands before you enter the gym and then please regularly sanitize your hands using the uh, equipment we provide whilst you're training. Please wipe down all the equipment, benches, weights after you've used them. It makes it nice and safe and secure for the next person to come along. And please follow the markers on the floor. You'll notice a number of yellow markers on the floor. They're, they're down there to um, keep social distancing between the different training sections. So that's us trying to help you out to keep you safe whilst you're here. 
Face coverings are currently optional. Whilst you're actually working out, if you're just coming to stand in the gym, then um, well, by all means, please do wear one, but there's no requirement currently for you to wear one whilst you're training. Okay, thank you for that.